in the metrology and measurement subject the multiple choice questions on unit 1 basics of metrology is to be discussed in this video question number 1 agreement of result of a measurement with the true value of the measured quantity is called it is accuracy okay so the measurement there is a measured value if the measured value agrees with the true value then it is called accuracy okay so the answer is a okay the measured value in accuracy is the measured value agrees with the target or true value okay here in the first diagram it is accurate it is accurate and precise precise is nothing but it is a repeatability of repeatability or reproducibility of the measuring process that it should give the reading again and again so here all the readings are accurate because it is on the target so it is accurate and all the readings are almost the same so it is also precise second case it is precise but not accurate so it is not on the target so it is not accurate but it is precise but it shows the consistency of the measuring process all the, for every reading it gave the same value so it is called as precise then it is uh, not accurate not precise the readings uh, readings are scattered so they are not same as well as it is not on the target so it is not accurate so this is the difference between accuracy and precision so uh, here accuracy is a uh, it refers to how closely the measured value agrees with the true value okay we are measuring one value one quantity and this value should be in agreement with the true value that is called accuracy precision it is a repeatability or consistency of measurement it should give the readings again and again and again and again it should the readings should be the same it, it should the instrument should give the same reading that is called precision so in the first uh, diagram it is highly precise and highly accurate because it is on the target so it is highly accuracy and it is precise because all the readings are same so it is highly precision and uh, second diagram it is low accuracy because it is not on the target so it is not accurate low accuracy but a high precision because it gives the same reading okay the instrument gives the same reading again and again so it is highly precise then high accuracy it is on the target so it is highly accurate but low precision the readings the instrument does not give the reading does not give the same reading again and again so it is low precise here it is low precise low accurate because it is not on the target so it is low accuracy and the instrument does not give the same reading again and again so it is low precise second question the maximum amount by which the result differs from the true value is called as accuracy the maximum amount by which the maximum amount by which the result differs from the true value is called as accuracy accuracy is a degree of agreement of the measured dimension with its true magnitude so the measured value should be in agreement with the true value and it is also the maximum amount by which by which the result differs from the true value so the maximum amount by which the amount differs from the true value is called as accuracy so answer is a third question match list 1 and list 2 uh, sensitivity accuracy precision resolution okay. uh, so uh, sensitivity uh, it is a, uh, that is uh, it is a change in output per change in input okay accuracy accuracy is a uh, de deviation from the uh, theoretical value okay deviation from the theoretical value is accuracy how does it differs from the theoretical value it is accuracy then precision precision is ability to re reproduce again and again okay ability to re reproduce again and again so c1 and d3 resolution is change in output per change in output from change in input from a non zero point okay change in output from a non zero point so when the input is slowly increased from in, from non zero value it is observed that the output does not change okay so uh, that is resolution refers to uh, that is in this picture if it is divided into more number of pixels 
that accuracy will be more resolution will be more here in the second diagram it is divided into medium number of pixels and in the third diagram it is divided into more it is divided into less number of pixels the total area divided into less number of pixels so the resolution will be less that is resolution is that is it is uh, increased from the non zero value uh, so uh, d3 so change in output from change in input from a non zero point so uh, for a resolution it is 3 for sensitivity change in output per change in input so it can measure very small uh, even a even a very small input can be measured by the by a sensible instrument so that is called sensitivity then the degree of repetitiveness of the measuring process is precession okay degree of repetitiveness uh, it will produce that uh, that instrument will provide the same result again and again so it is a degree of repetitiveness of the measuring process is precession then fifth question so the, this uh, answer represents uh, it is not on the target okay it is not on the target so it is not accurate but it is precise it, the instrument gives the same reading again and again so it is precise answer is c then next question so it is precise and accurate okay it is on the target and also the readings are same so it is precise and accurate and next question uh, it is not precise and not accurate because it is not on the target and uh, the instrument does not give the readings again and again so it is not precise not accurate answer is a the closeness of an instrument reading to the true value of the measurement is called as accuracy the closeness of an instrument reading to the true value of the measurement is called as accuracy okay so if the instrument gives a close reading to the true value it is called as accuracy answer is a precision is repeatability of a measuring process or rep reproducibility of a measuring process is called as precision it should give the reading again and again so it is called as uh, precision which of the following is the most important characteristic characteristics of the measuring instrument in general so repeatability is a answer is repeatability which of the following is the most important characteristic of a measuring instrument in general repeatability should be repeatable it should give the reading again and again so uh, repeatability of a repeatability is a most important characteristic of a measuring instrument then errors so errors can be of different types uh, so systematic errors and random errors different types of errors uh, so systematic errors are regular repetitive nature so error is nothing but measured value minus true value okay percentage error is measured value minus true value by true value so error is measured value minus true value that is it is a difference between measured value and the actual value so percentage error is measured value minus true value by true value into 100 it is a percentage error then types of errors uh, there are different types of errors and there is gross errors and it is uh, committed by a person and measurement errors and blunders okay measurement errors are again classified into systematic errors and random errors okay so systematic errors are again classified into instrumental errors environmental errors observational errors and theoretical errors so in the systematic errors so measurement errors uh, so gross errors it is caused due to person handling the instrument and measurement error it has been classified into systematic errors and random errors uh, systematic errors and random errors are caused by two types of causes one is uh, known causes another one is unknown causes okay so the known causes known causes are called as assignable causes and unknown causes are called as chance causes okay so uh, known causes so the systematic errors are caused due to known factors and it can be identified and it can be eliminated but random errors it cannot be identified because it is uh, caused by unknown factors okay it is caused by unknown factors they are very small in magnitude but systematic errors are very larger in magnitude but the random errors are very smaller in magnitude but it cannot be eliminated in a measuring process but these systematic errors can be identified and it is regular and repetitive in nature and it follows a trend also 
uh, you can identify that error easily and you can eliminate that systematic errors but that random errors cannot be eliminated so systematic errors are caused due to instrument instrument or it may be caused due to environment or it may be caused due to observation or it may be due to the uh, errors in the uh, calculations or theoretical okay okay the three types of errors gross errors due to person then measurement error then blunders so these are all the mistakes okay uh, systematic errors gross errors so mistakes in using instruments it is caused by operator or person gross errors are caused due to the operator or person handling that instrument blunders are faulty recording blunders are the mistakes faulty recording or the wrong value while recording a measurement then measurement error so it may be of systematic errors and random errors so systematic errors so it is due to the fault of the measuring device and this can, this error can be eliminated or detached by correcting the measurement devices it can be of instrumental error environmental error observational errors and theoretical errors instrumental errors it is due to the wrong construction of the measuring instruments so it is due to the fault of the measuring instrument and environmental errors may be caused due to the change in pressure temperature humidity or due to magnetic fields this type of environmental error can occur then observational errors due to the wrong observations or reading of the instruments the main uh, major error may be due to the parallax error this error can be eliminated by uh, placing a mirror behind the dial dial reading this error can be eliminated theoretical errors this can be caused due to the wrong calculations etc then random errors they are due to unknown causes okay systematic errors are caused due to known causes but random errors are caused due to unknown causes and they occur even when small systematic errors have been accounted even after eliminating all systematic errors this type of error can be presented and this may be of very small in magnitude very 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 small in magnitude and it, it cannot be eliminated in any measurement process so that factors that randomly affect the measurement so they follow uh, probability laws of probability they follow the gaussian distribution random errors follow the gaussian distribution so the systematic errors are uh, systematic errors are regular repetitive in nature it is not randomly distributed it is not an not an un unknown error um, it is not of unpredictable in nature all belongs to random errors random errors are randomly distributed random errors are unknown random errors are unpredictable in nature but systematic errors are regular and repetitive in nature so answer is c then which of the following cannot fall under the head controllable errors so controllable errors so the random errors will not fall under controllable errors calibration errors can be controllable environmental errors can be controllable and avoidable errors so avoidable errors are systematic errors so it will not fall under random errors cannot fall under the head controllable errors so it is random errors are non controllable errors so answer is b the error committed by a person in the measurement are it is the gross errors okay the error committed by the person uh, or operator is said to be the gross errors that we have discussed uh, first gross errors and gross errors measurement errors and um, blunders so gross errors gross errors may be caused due to the person okay person or operator handling that instrument which of the following errors are inevitable in the measuring system and it would be painful exercise to avoid them okay so the random errors are inevitable in any measurement system you cannot avoid uh, you cannot avoid this random errors and it it will be it would be painful exercise to avoid them so it would it would be a painful exercise it is not necessary to avoid the random errors it is because it is very smaller in magnitude uh, so the random errors cannot be eliminated next one the parasitic error the parasitic error is caused due to errors in computation okay parasitic error is nothing but the error which may be caused due to the computation or the theoretical calculations is called as parasitic error and this error can be eliminated once it is identified it can be eliminated so errors in computation is called as parasitic error the degree of repetitiveness of the measuring process is 
precision the degree of repetitiveness of the measuring process is precision an instrument should provide 